test, test. <laughs> I got my hair cut. Oh, you didn't know that. I had long hair. Yeah, yeah. When I was three years old, I started painting when I was three years old. No, you just wanted to paint and draw. It's just in you, in the blood. This I painted in 2006. <laughs> 2006. I was very depressed. This was called the black hole of depression and I just attacked the canvas with my brushes and came up with that. That's the year I almost killed myself. And here's, here's another one. It's Seeking Peace. It's called Seeking Peace amidst all the turmoil of life. So you can see why that sculpture up there spoke to me. And I had to buy it because, yeah, those are basically self-portraits. I have an imbalance of neurotransmitters in my brain. That's what it is. It's a, it's a chemical thing. They locked me up at, uh, at the Oakville Trafalgar Hospital in the mental health unit there. That's how bad it was. Luckily, I had good doctors and psychiatrists who could help me. So here I am today. I'm still here. <laughs> Certain types of paintings, as you can see these, it just helped to take paint and, and do this on the canvas, relieve some of my anxiety and, and, and emotions, I suppose. Yeah, it just, the paintings just happened. They were not planned, they just happened. Other ones like the one up on the wall there, the landscape, that's different again, that was, more planned but usually a painting when I do it it's not ready in my mind I I just follow my instincts as I paint as I go along and I don't take a long time to do a painting like if it takes me more than a day I get very frustrated I, I I like to paint quickly and instantly. And that's why I like acrylics. I paint with acrylics because they dry quickly. While oil paint, it takes, it takes a long time to dry. So when you're layering colors, then you do have to wait. Otherwise, you'll end up with mud. 
This one I did in 2005. This is when I was going through my depression. This is done 14 years ago when I felt so alone and felt like everything was jabbing at me and that there's this underworld that I couldn't access. But this baby sort of symbolizes me feeling abandoned. Yeah, this is an oil painting. This one's not acrylic. All the rest were acrylic. This is very different. This one I planned in my head though. I could visualize it in my head. So I had to paint it alone. But and it smells, and my husband doesn't like the smell, so I try to stick to acrylics mostly. Well, I do a lot of, um, well, semi-abstract. And also I like to use different materials at times, stones and metal and sticks. I incorporate them into some of my art. This one is something I did earlier. As you can see, I've got metal in here. Still got a horizontal aspect, but um, I don't know. It's just an abstract I came up with. Just followed the brush. And then I took the metal and fit it in there. But I think I'm through that stage now and I'm back to painting. And I'm wanting to paint things that give me peace, that are very, very horizontal as opposed to vertical. Very horizontal, like. <laughs> as, you, as you can see, it's very, very horizontal too. Don't ask me about this one, I have no idea. It's very simple. I want to deconstruct and simplify and as with few brushstrokes as possible, create something. I don't like to overwork, overwork things. Do I have here? Oh, here's a very simple one. I was trying to keep it as simple as possible. Just land, bit of clouds and sky. Very minimalist. Because that's actually what I am striving towards is minimalism, but I'm finding it very difficult. It's not easy at all. It's easy to cram all sorts of stuff into your painting, but, um, but to keep it to a, a minimalist look, that's really hard. That's what I'm struggling with. That's me. And there it's easy to paint because I can do it outside and, and listen to the waves and to the wind and the birds and just be utterly at peace. Because that's what I'm seeking is peace. Through my art, in my life, just had too much turmoil. Finished.